I uh, recently bought um, an old motorbike um, with carburetors, um, like this one. It's actually a dual carb bike, so uh, the one I'll be talking about today is already um, off the bike. Um, so yeah, um, full of uh, really, you know, carbon baked on fuel, all sorts of muck. Um, I was struggling to get them effectively clean with a wire brush. It was just too much stuff. This is a, a well, 39 year old bike. It's been off the road for about the last 15 years, so it's pretty gum solid. Research and decided to buy an ultrasonic cleaning tank. So this is the one I settled for. Um, there were various models with digital displays and things on them, but I figure actually the actual you know, mechanism is not the important bit. Um, it's just the, uh, the ultrasonic. So um, as you can see on here, I've got um, heater. Um, the heat seems to run independently of the uh, the timer, so I believe it's heating the water even if the timer is not on. Got a timer here running around to 20 minutes maximum. The instructions say you shouldn't run it for more than I think it's 20 minutes in the hour, so you run it for 20 minutes. Uh, and a drainage tap. It's 240 volts, uh, 40 kilohertz, with uh, an ultrasonic power of 150 watts, heating power of 300 watts. As I was cleaning carburetors, I uh, bought kind of this stuff here. Ultrasonic carburetor cleaner. Um, it's clearly quite corrosive, nasty stuff. So, if you're using this, make sure you wear some goggles and some gloves. Got the, uh, the actual bits and pieces of the carburetor in the water now. When I first put this in, this water was perfectly clear. I believe the physics uh, of these things is that you, um, the, the ultrasonic scores um, micro cavitations inside the fluid, uh, and then those uh, when those micro cavitations collapse, you get an extremely high temperature, a very short period. Um, I'm not sure whether you're supposed to, but I'm actually leaving these to, uh, to soak in the in the fluid for a little while. Um, the uh, normally the fluid that you use, you just need as a surfactant to ensure the ultrasonics make a good contact with the uh, the surface of whatever you're cleaning. Um, but in this particular case, I believe the carburetor cleaner is probably a combination of a detergent and strong acid. Um, as you can say, the as I say, the uh, the water's going yellow already, so it's clearly doing something here, even without the uh, the ultrasonics on. So they've been in there for about five minutes now. Um, I'll, um, I'll fire it up in a moment and, uh, and I'll show you it cleaning. I'm gonna run this for 20 minutes. Uh, so dial the thing right round and, uh, and then we'll leave it to it. Tank's done. Um, I've pulled it outside so there's a slightly better light so I can see. Um, it's been 20 minutes. It's it's warm to the touch, not too bad. It still smells so you can see the water is extremely murky. Um, quite a lot of scum on the top. Just about to see the stuff in there. So um, I've um, put some gloves on. Um, Wooden chemicals. So let's get it out and have a look. Have a look. Hmm. Well, it's not exactly like new. So, yeah. I mean, I would say it's probably cleaner. I imagine it's probably cleaner inside. But investigation today. This is um. I was hoping for more. If I'm honest. So just to pop the bubble in there. Yeah, um, let's have a look. So this uh, float bowl had a lot of uh, grime baked onto the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely cleaner. I mean, it's not brilliant, but but it's okay. So judge by the amount of water in here, I don't know whether this is just because uh, the uh, the cleaners reached saturation point, or whether it needs longer or what. Let's have a look at some of these other bits. There you go. This is a main jet. A brass. It's not really substantially cleaner, I've got to say. Might let the whole lot cool down and give it another go. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 
Okay, so um, it all cooled down, um, had a good examination of my bits, and yeah, I'm not massively pleased with it. So I'm gonna have another go. Um, what I've done this time, uh, filled the tank up with um, water straight from the tap. Um, you can see it's about 20 degrees, so I'm gonna leave that set to about 40, although I doubt it'll reach that temperature while it's doing its thing. Um, so I filled it with, yeah, say, so just plain tap water and uh, Fairy liquid, which is um, in the UK just a domestic detergent. Um, I don't think that acts as a surfactant. Um, I had a scrape of some of the bits and pieces, so where it was baked on, it's kind of sludgy before, so where I've been able to scrape stuff off, I have. So maybe it'll work a little better this time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this another 20 minutes and, uh, and we'll see if it comes up any better this time. So start. Nice. Okay, 20 minutes is up. So first up, did reach the 40 degrees. Um, the unit's warm to the touch. Let's have a look. Okay, so nothing like as dramatic as before. Um, although there's some muck in the water. I guess it's not been a complete waste of time, but I'm not, um, not hopeful that it's going to be a a vast improvement, but I guess we'll see. A couple of days of um, pass since the uh, uh, the car came out of the cleaning tank. I've given it a polish in addition to the uh, cleaning that was done in the tank. Um, it's come up pretty nice. Um, one of the main problems it was having was the uh, fuel valve uh, was getting stuck uh, and the car was leaking so it seems to resolve that problem um, it's obviously you know, a lot of the smaller parts inside the carburetor um, that I actually can't access to, to clean directly um, that have been affected there so yeah I mean it's not um, the ultrasonic cleaning tank certainly didn't bring it up this good on its own um, required some additional cleaning with some slight abrasives and some polish um, to get it up to the standard but I think all in all um, the, uh, the the ultrasonic cleaning is worthwhile. Certainly gets the inside working a lot better. Um, the the throttle was a little sticky before. But it seems to resolve that problem as well. So yeah, uh, pretty good. 